My name is Leah Anderson, and today is my cyber birthday. It's been over three years since I got my now, and I became a cyborg. And my gift has been a deadly disease. Apparently, I tested positive for synthetic neurodegeneration, also known as SND, a fucking disease that fries your brain and has no cure. Sup, Dan? What the hell are you doing here? Hi, El. I tested positive for SND. It seems pretty serious. Oh, really? Well, that makes two of us. Two? You got the results already? Yeah. I don't have the details, but it doesn't look good. Shit. I never thought that a ghost of your level could be affected by SND. We're really screwed. Meh. I may be a great A, but I'm still human. This damn plague makes no exceptions. Hey, but don't worry. I'll find a way to save us. They offered me an experimental treatment, and today... Leah Anderson, room number eight. Damn, that was timely. There's still hope, Dan. We'll talk later. You've tested positive for SND. Sorry, there's still no cure, but luckily it hasn't progressed much. Yeah, tell that to the fucking migraines. Now what? There's an experimental treatment, but it's a dangerous procedure. No one's waiting for me at home, so what the hell? Sign me up. Damn. <sighs> you must be really hurting. I hope the treatment really helps. It's our only chance. Yes? I'm calling from the Free Your Mind Corporation. We have received your admission request from the hospital. Time is key, as you may already know. SND will cause your brain to work at increasingly higher speeds, degenerating rapidly. You must get on board immediately. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware of how screwed I am, but I'll do whatever it takes. That's it. That attitude will be essential for your recovery. We'll pick you up in the next few hours. God. My head is gonna explode. And supposedly I'm not so bad. I don't even want to think about Dan. The process is still in the experimental phase. The evolution of each patient is very different and depends largely on their current stage. But we are already close to achieving a complete cure. The SND will accelerate your mind, creating a false sense of power. But don't be fooled, your neurons will not be able to keep up and little by little your judgment will become cloudy and you will soon lose control. You will have an AI assistant, and you must grant it full access, or else it will not be able to assess your stats. Mutual collaboration is key. I'm not wild about having a machine messing around in my mind, but I'll be the first to get over this shit. I hope you make it. Good luck. New user detected. ID 211215. SND progress 43%. Regeneration expectations positive. History of hacking and identity theft. Welcome, patient Leah. Nothing gets by free your mind. You guys know everything about me. Almost as much as I know about you. Affirmative. We do a prior follow-up of all our patients especially if they are prominent members of the ghost list. Do you have a name, Construct? I didn't find any reference to you the last time I hacked your database. Ten minutes ago, in the waiting room. I am Cora, administrator of this environment and your personal assistant. I am a specialist in eradicating SND and repairing neurological deterioration. But the final success of the treatment will depend on your abilities and perseverance. How do you feel? I feel... Damn, I feel great. I actually haven't been this well since my first implant. We are in an adaptive environment, Leah. And as such, it is programmed so the subject is always at full power. 
Everything you sense is created from your neural connections and a sophisticated artificial reality engine. I thought SND would affect me more here, but I'm better than ever. SND spreads quickly, but you are still in control of all your senses. My function is creating a containment system and guiding you through it, but you are your only hope. I know, just like in real life. I'm used to taking care of myself, and I don't like to depend on anyone. So just tell me what I have to do. Understood. We will start with standard training. First, we will diagnose your motor system and response speed. Please follow the instructions until the end of this test. Try to imitate the silhouettes that I have placed as a guide. I just enabled the kinetic module on your HUD. Each jump or dash made in the air will consume a kinetic charge, which will recharge upon touching the ground. Remember that you can combine these movements at your will. Congratulations! You have completed the basic movements training. Let's proceed to the next level. The laws of physics do not work the same as in the real world. Here you can climb and run on walls. Try it yourself. This also applies to roofs. You can climb and run through them if you on steep ramps like this one, you can perform a stomp right at the final stretch, which will give you a temporary speed increase. Remember to maintain speed by holding down, dash, or pressing it repeatedly to overcome the loop. Take advantage of the speed boost from stomping on ramps to overcome obstacles. Test all the moves you have learned and reach the end of the level. Remember to repeatedly dash or hold down to conserve acceleration and maximize your speed. Congratulations! You have successfully passed the advanced movement test. Let's continue to training level 3. Now I will show you our medical evaluation system. Time and score indicators appear here. With them, I will calculate your performance. As part of the treatment, I have condensed your SND into cubes like this one. Every time you collide with them, you will eliminate them and your score will increase. Now I will activate the synchro module in the lower right area of your HUD. Synchro will always start at maximum, but will reduce over time. Eliminating SND will increase the synchro level and recharge it, multiplying the score. The time has come. Cross the line and start the test. I'm sorry, you haven't kept your synchro at maximum. Oh, fuck off! That was way too far. That was impossible to do. <laughs> this level is poorly designed. On the contrary, this section... Remember that when you eliminate SND, the synchro is restored. If you do not maintain it, you will progressively lose the multiplier levels. It is vital that the synchro indicator always be at maximum to obtain the best result. Sorry, you have received an impact causing you to lose all your synchro levels. You have to be more cautious in the future. Don't take me for a fool, Construct. I know that was another of your tricks. That jump was impossible. 
Sorry for the inconvenience. Your statement is true, but it is a fact that pain is the most effective method for learning. Come on, let's continue to combat training. As a defensive measure, I have synthesized the most aggressive SND sequences in the form of enemies. Destroying them will increase your score and recharge Synchro just like the cubes. I just activated your weapon system and added a new weapon to your inventory. Damn! It's a bifocal bull sword! Experts say it can open cracks in space. They're worth a fortune and I've always wanted one! I keep in mind the patient's desires. Maintaining a positive attitude improves progress in adapting to the environment. Please note that enemies have different hit points. I will activate the combat interface above them when you approach so you can see it. Destroying an enemy while in the air will grant you an air charge. Your weapon can pass through surfaces and will also eliminate cubes. I have enabled the debugger mode of your weapon. It is a long range laser with limited shots. In the HUD, you can see your ammunition. Congratulations! What you just removed is an SND neural core. Remember that it can only be destroyed by heavy attacks or the debugger. You have freed a section of your brain from the disease and have completed the level. Perfect! One more step towards my freedom. Soon I'll be as good as new. By the way, can I see my statistics? Of course. Below you can analyze your results report. In it, I will assign you a rank depending on your score. Ranks A and S will reward a standard memory node, and rank S plus will reward an advanced memory node. But don't worry. I will explain the function of these nodes to you later. We are almost finished. Check the report and we will move to the final level when you are ready. This is the final stage, the combat test. Levels like this one do not contain a neural core like the one before. To complete them, you must eradicate the entire SND. Go ahead and finish them off. completed the whole testing environment. Congratulations! Your rating is the highest among patients in the last year. I told you that I was at full strength and I always play to win, even in a training session. Your self-confidence will be a great ally in our fight. You are now ready to start treatment. Your avatar will be transferred immediately. Yeah. 
Wait. I know this place. This is Eden. I've spent half my life here like everyone else. What kind of scam is this? Do you really expect me not to recognize the most well-known virtual universe in history? Oh, fuck off. Indeed. This treatment is based on the same code as Eden, but incorporates sequences of your consciousness, memories, and experiences. What you see is a simulation based on your mind, using an instance of Eden as background. The leaks said that he was in the testing phase, but... I expected something more innovative from a big tech like Free Your Mind. Our priority is always the patient. That is why we adapt a familiar environment to the user's mind, so that the treatment is as comfortable and effective as possible. So I'm alone? Like, no other users? You mean an Eden of my own exclusive to me? Damn, it's every hacker's wet dream. Affirmative. Zero distractions. The patient must focus on a single goal, eradicating SND. I've isolated the trials in blue doors. Remember, completing them will give you memory nodes to access new areas of the city. Additionally, I have included a support console within the tests. Use it to access training mode, see your replay, or modify options. Now you must put into practice what you have learned in the training environment and free your mind from the infection. The SND is spread across all districts. Go ahead and release the first nodes and I'll get back to you.
fucking combat firewall. Do you want to kill me, Construct? By no means. I have installed these jamming beacons throughout the simulation to delay the expansion of the SND. Without these containment measures, its spread would be exponential. You will find them at key points throughout the city. And their main function is to avoid unnecessary suffering to the patient if they do not have the necessary skill. Fuck off! I'm not a noob! Let me pass right now! Hey, I don't need to ask permission to enter areas of my own brain! Impossible. The only way to deactivate these locks is by achieving enough memory nodes. Until then, access will be locked. It is for your own safety. <sighs> okay. Whatever. I'll let it go this time, but I warn you. I've never liked rules. Neither in the digital world, nor in the real one, okay? But I'm curious, um, in the hypothetical case that I try to pass through it, how many red lights would show up on your control panel? Just one. My defense system would open fire and break you down into simple code immediately. The pain you would experience would be so intense that your brain would reboot to prevent collateral damage and your avatar would regenerate. I do not recommend it, since it would be the closest thing to dying in the human sense. Although it has no side effects, it is better to come back when you have enough nodes. Damn, that's some serious shit. You guys play hard at free your mind. Copy that. Congratulations, Leah. You are making great progress. To facilitate your access to the tests, I'm going to enable a new menu in your interface. Great! New options! What are they for? This tool will allow you to access the progress of each test, check your best result, and see the unlocked nodes. Each door will be represented along with its statistics, and you will be able to quickly access the level from any point. Cool. Anything else I should know? You also have the progress menu available. Access it too. Yeah, I know how a progress menu works, thank you very much. You don't need to explain everything to me. Okay. Remember to consult the menus often. It will help you advance in your treatment. I'm not a kindergartner. The whole thing is like a video game. Jesus, it's so easy for me.
the... Oh, someone has included the Ocean of Stars foot truck in my instance. Oh, the Solstice pancakes are so good. I'm gonna eat some as soon as I finish my treatment. Oh, damn, they're so yummy. Unexpected error. All access has been blocked as a precautionary measure. What the hell? Is it because of the SND? Has it progressed too far? I just freed a door. Negative. A memory conflict has been detected on port 101. Fragmented information has been found. Does this happen often? You should talk to the QA team. It has never happened before. The error code suggests that it has been caused by an attempted unscheduled modification to the system. Are you telling me that someone other than you wants to mess with my head? Impossible. The shielding of the environment is impenetrable. Most likely one of my subroutines has gone out of sync. Unfortunately, my directives do not allow me to self-reboot, and I require your hacking skills. You will need to unlock the maintenance room and restart my auxiliary processes. Ugh, bullshit. Now I'm the one who has to do the dirty work. The server room is located in the west area of the city. of the real Eden, you can find anything. And I mean anything, no matter how illegal it is. There's always someone who sells exactly what you're looking for, at a fucking high price. Cyber gangs use these warehouses in real Eden as hideouts or arsenals. But Gora has blocked everything due to the failure. I have to restart the server to continue. But Gora has blocked everything due to the failure. I have to restart the server to continue. the maintenance room Cora mentioned. The administrator terminal has to be at the end. 
Free your mind, maybe big tag and all that shit, but this level of security is a joke to me. The latest gen multi-block fog. Maybe enough to scare Lorex, but not a class 8 ghost like me. I just need to press the buttons at the right moment before time runs out, and each ring will be released. The administrator terminal is at the end of the room. Resetting will cause a communications outage. Don't worry. Contact will be re-established once the process is done. Roger, roger. is right and she can't access this part of the system, she shouldn't know anything about what's going on here. Let's check it out. Now's the time to be a bad girl. Huh, this looks like a list of patients undergoing treatment. Let's see if I'm here, too. Voila! If I'm there, Daniel must be, too. Here you are, my young apprentice. Hmm. I'd like to know how he's doing. Hmm. I'll save his ID so I can call him once I get out of here. The comlock interface works the same as in the real Eden. To access it, I just need to press the button in the upper left corner of my HUD. Once inside, the list of my available contacts will be visible. For now, I only have a few. Maybe I'll find more. Okay, that's enough. Aura is about to get reactivated. Thank you for your cooperation, Leah. The firewalls are operational again. Go ahead and continue freeing nodes. Oh, it's always a pleasure to help a mega corporation. I'll send you my billing info. Hmm, that's odd. I'll try again. Huh, it seems that communication between users is blocked. But that makes sense. I'm in a custom instance. They don't want patients to waste time chattering, that's for sure. If you don't want us to do it, then don't accept hackers in your program. Cora didn't notice a thing when I was inside the server room. So if I want to go unnoticed, my only alternative is to use a backdoor. There are several in the real Eden, but the best known is without a doubt the Cyber Cafe. Old-fashioned, but functional. Its axis is in the New Asia District. That's pretty hidden. I hope they haven't shut it down, too.
security of these terminals is for rookies. Let's see what's in the warehouses. What the hell are these? They look like mechanical squids. They remind me of the sentinels that patrol data servers in the real world. I know a guy named Rick who could appraise these antiques. I would send him a message, but it seems that my comm log is blocked. I'll try it later. What the hell? I'm logged in as an administrator. Someone hacked the system before me. Let's see who it was. Gotcha. This guy's been breaking into the warehouse for days. And the bastard erased the dates. What are you hiding in there, buddy? I won't forget your name, S. Kaneda. No way, is that what I think it is? I need to see this up close. Holy moly, it's on Artemis 01! It's the fastest motorbike on the entire network! <laughs> there are barely a dozen copies, only for Eden beta testers. How the hell is there one here? The AI never mentioned it. Cool, it has a built-in GPS module. Great, it will enable the map menu where I can see keys and firewalls and doors and all that stuff. Besides that, it'll let me fast travel around the city. Man, I love my new motorbike.
Finger. Don't put it where you don't want to, unless you want to lose it. What the hell? A fucking talking beer can? Hey, hominid. Calm your mammary glands and be proud to talk to the wonderful Skip It! Son of a bitch, what are you? A renegade AI or something? Are you deaf? I'm Skip It, you dirty ape. And if you're talking to me, it means you're a little less stupid than your peers. Be amazed or something, goddammit. You're facing the most cutting-edge artificial intelligence in the known universe. If you've surpassed Korra and you're in my instance without sounding the alarms, you're a top-notch construct, that's for sure. Korra? You mean that AI from the Stone Age? <laughs> What you call security algorithms are a fucking joke to me. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want. In fact, the advanced memory cores that Cora is giving you are my invention. I don't believe a damn thing you're telling me, all right? There's no way you've hacked its source code. Oh, yeah? When she told you about the memory cores, did she mention the little purple ones? Hmm. You're right. She didn't explain that part to me. Hear me out, ape brain. My true self left scattered fragments of the code that I need to get out of your shitty world. In their infinite coolness, these files are shaped like old console cartridges. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Your pathetic species has only created two truly worthwhile things. Beer and video games. I can't drink, so I had no choice. All right, well, if the little purple ones are yours, what the hell do they do, supposedly? They are special keys of a particular color that open special doors of the same color. Get it? Do you need a drawing? Each special door hides one of the cartridges. And I can tell you that they are difficult as hell. You will only get the cartridge if you achieve at least an S score. And you, Meatbag, have been chosen to bring them back. You mean you modified my treatment and included impossible tests, you bastard? You know, I'd love to mess with your only hope of survival, but my programming prevents me from killing humans, pathetic as you are. Don't worry, the special doors aren't related to your treatment, so nothing will happen if you don't complete them. They are completely optional, but will you have the ovaries to overcome them? <laughs> are you challenging me, you hunk of metal? I have more than enough ovaries. Well, now you have work to do, don't you, hominid? Find all the cartridges for good old Skip It. Whenever you get a cartridge, insert it into the terminal next to me. This way, I can access its code, you listening, and you can read its cool description. It's at your right. We'll see. I have more important things to do, you know? Like saving my life and stuff. Obeying Skip It should be your priority. But do whatever suits your reproductive system. <laughs>
Georgia is the best damn district in Eden. This place amazes me. The aesthetics of the entrance are fucking lit, man. wasn't in the real Eden. It looks like a hospital, and that creeps me out.
cyber cafe, just like in the old movies. <laughs> Purists love these things. is on another level. I can't do anything. It's just beyond my knowledge. Damn it. Perhaps the SND is blocking me. Maybe if I get more nodes, I might have some chance of destroying this fog. Fog is too strong. I must clean more S and D. can end up here if they piss off the wrong people. That's how fucking life works. After all, digital universes are just an extension of the real world. Damn it, Cora, help me! Anyone, I need to... Uh... 
Wait, what's happening to me? The pain now is... Damn! This feels good! Leah, your vitals have collapsed for a few seconds. How do you feel? I thought I was dying, but now... It's like I've been injected with something. What happened? Your SND level has suddenly increased from 43% to 52%. You have reached the yellow alert level, but don't worry, it is not catastrophic. Bullshit! You've seen me clean door after door. There's no way my stats are so high. Also, I feel different. I feel more awake than before. Less... me. I don't know what has triggered this anomaly. You are the first patient to have ever experienced this symptom, but that feeling of power is not real, just a side effect. Hey, I know the difference between what is true and what is not, and the power that I feel is real as hell. I am investigating the change in your infection curve. I will contact you as soon as I have the results. But hurry up. I came here to get better, not to make my head explode. face of an angel, but her body looks like military stuff. Man, look at those scars. She must be an old combat unit from the corporate wars. They use cyborgs that look like children to deceive the enemy. Rest in peace, kiddo. I wonder what I'm capable of now, thanks to the skill boost. on their own. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I like it. <laughs> and Cora said this was just a side effect? <laughs> Never trust a machine. 
The AI hasn't stopped me. That is a good sign. The door had a god-level shield, meaning these areas were beyond her control. Gora has assumed that no one would be able to enter, so it's clear that I'm in limbo, and I have carte blanche. In any case, if I stay inside for too long, she'll get suspicious. Better be quick. I don't want to tempt fate either. Hi, Dan. Did you miss me? Leah? Is that you, Leah? Oh, I know. I got you, Cora. <laughs> Good trick. Try harder next time, because... No, damn it. First of all, I'm L, not Leah. You know, if you aim to become a ghost, you better learn the slang in the Nyx, kiddo. Wow. I didn't know we were allowed to talk to other patients. She hadn't told me anything about it. Don't even think about mentioning it. I don't trust that AI, and I've broken more than 15 regulations just by making this call, capiche? Hmm. I hope you don't get me into trouble, too. I've been on a very good streak with the tests. Cora says my SND is at 15%. You're a champ, Dan. Nah, don't worry. I'm not gonna jinx you. And what about you? How are you doing? Fucking great, actually. You know, I recently had a stroke or something, and Cora says my SND has skyrocketed, but I feel much better than before. Damn! But are you really okay? Yeah, of course I am. Right now, I'm in ultra mode. I feel like a goddess. I don't know if I would like that. I'd rather not. My infection levels keep going down. I'm so happy for you, Dan. I really am, but I have to go. I just wanted to check how you were doing, as well as testing myself. Thanks, Elle. It's always good to listen to a friend for a change. I'll miss you. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You know I can't stand that crap. Ooh, before leaving, I have a little gift for you. A file. Download it. It is an encoded script. It will allow us to stay in touch. You rock, Leah! Okay, okay, now shut up and listen. We shouldn't waste any more time or they'll get suspicious. We'll talk again, if you follow my instructions. In order to communicate, open the executable in your comm log as soon as we finish this conversation, alright? Understood. That will enable transmissions, but Cora won't be able to detect it thanks to the encryption. Amazing! Thank you. I'll write only when necessary, so we'll be less exposed. Good boy. Keep it up. We'll talk later, Dan. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Good luck, Elle. Alright, I should get out of here ASAP. Leah, I've detected a disconnection in your vital signs. Have you suffered another breakdown? Well, I, uh, yes, yes, Cora, I collapsed again, but I'm fine now. <laughs> is it a fucking SND thing? Has it increased again? Negative. It is very unusual. Your levels are still at 52%. I'll include it in the ongoing analysis. Continue with the treatment. Uh, yeah, sure thing. I'll keep recovering nodes. Thanks for your concern, Cora. I don't trust her. I'm sure she suspects something. Okay, I gotta be more careful from now on.
done some preliminary analysis on the episode you recently suffered. Do you want to know more? All right, shoot, Cora. First of all, your performance, instead of going down, has increased exponentially. You have improved your reaction time and average progress by 160%. The values are beyond all records. There is no precedent. Damn, I told you it wasn't just a feeling. I've been on another level since then. But my infection got worse. I understand your concern. Indeed, it continues to increase. Your SND has increased by another 4% since the episode. The current infection level is 56%. No fucking way! I've been releasing notes non-stop! This makes no sense! The attitude of rejection is normal, and it is still early to give you a definitive result. There are many variables to consider. Okay, that sounds like an excuse to me, but... What options do I have? Keep in mind that any hypothesis could be fatal. Your health comes first. We must wait for the final results. The detailed examination is still ongoing. I will contact you once it is finished. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever.
glitched? Shit, it's not a bug, it's a message. An encrypted one. Hmm, the cipher looks familiar. This can't be Dan's work. His hacking levels are light years away from this. Hmm. It's been someone who knows me. This has got to be someone who knows me and knows what I'm capable of. All right then, let's see what it's hiding and where it comes from. That was a bit disappointing. So much mystery just for the last words of an old man. But I've heard this before. That crazy ass guy who wanted to transcend said the same thing. I saw it streaming. Fuck, everyone witnessed it. Real Slum King, the self proclaimed king of the slums, broadcasting while reading his manifesto. When he finished, he connected to the network, gave us all the finger with his left hand, and with his right one, boom. Crazy bastard. He was convinced that he would merge with a digital world. He wanted to be remembered forever, and he was. The most famous life suicide in history. It went viral as fast as it disappeared. The governments covered it all up. 
Not a trace was left. Not even a screenshot. If you even dared to mention it, you could get banned for life. The fucking king of misery. He had no crown, just a pile of garbage around him. If he's here, he'll hide in the slums. like Dan's S and D has gotten worse too. Well, in any case, he feels worse. It affects us differently. By then, my body will be nothing more than a rotten shell. Far from tyrannical governments, free from the yoke of markets. The King of Misery sends his regards to you, corporate assholes! Hey, who are you? Uh, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the other hot chick who's blocking the light. Where did you come from? What the hell? It's not a recording. At least not completely. 
Someone has recovered and modified it. Hey, you deaf? Speak! How did you get in here? Oh, me? I'm a fan of yours. I I've come to see your transcendence. Well, get out of the way, damn it! I'm streaming and you're screwing up my shot! Look at you, alone, outcast, wallowing in other people's shit. You had no choice but to blow your brains out. I've been worse. I remember my years at the top, surrounded by luxuries, women, riches, pure decadence. No, now is when I feel truly alive, and soon I will be forever. I'm going to transcend. Move your ass, you're ruining my show. The top? So now I'm supposed to believe that you were up there, as part of the elite? Oh, come on, man. I was one of the founders of that black hole of greed, and those bastards spat on me and betrayed me. But they didn't know that they were actually doing me a favor. Sure, sure, you were a big boss, but you fell from grace and that opened your eyes. Classic stuff. You're nothing more than a crazy old man. You don't believe me? Stupid girl. What is this then? Look! Here! No fucking way, this is impossible. A key to the top? Now what? You still think I'm lying? God, this is worth millions. You can buy countries in the middle of fucking nowhere for less than what this cart costs. The keymaker coding itself costs 15 million credits. The other 25 million bucks were the entrance fee. It's personal and non-transferable, so give it back to me. Now! Wait, wait, wait. You said you're going to transcend, right? Your mind will become one with Eden, blah, blah, blah. Why do you want it then? Why? Well, damn you, right. Take it and shove it. You won't be able to do anything with it anyway. Now get out the way. I'm in the middle of streaming. Not with your ID, of course. But if I find the keymaker and convince him to reprogram it with my username... Silence! My dear folks, as I was saying, very soon I will have transcended, and my mind will become one with Eden. This way I will be safe from the dirty hands that have poisoned our... Oh, it's looping again. <laughs> Whoever recovered and modified the recording is a wizard-level ghost. I can't believe it. An invitation to the top, the most coveted and exclusive place on the network, created by admins for admins. So close and so far. Without my ID, this handful of bits is useless. It would be impossible to hack. The countermeasures are crazy. They would fry my brain. Everyone knows where the Keymaker's headquarters are, but he's a bad motherfucker and he doesn't receive visits. It would be easier to get his attention. Hmm. Get on his nerves, so he starts looking for me. Only the hand of its creator can link this card to my user. Maybe if I fuck around on the Eden net, I can hurt his ego enough to piss him off. Hmm. I just have to choose the right words. <laughs>
with references to the most important metropolises in the real world. It's kind of like a mix of the best views of Nova Tokyo, Neo Madrid, London. Sorry for not reaching out sooner. I've been... I feel like shit. Okay, hold on, Dan. Uh, 
What the fuck are you talking about? What happened to you? My SMD has reached a critical point. Cora says that once you're at 75%, the chances of recovery are practically zero. But there's still an option. I don't know. But I don't want to die. I came for the same reason as you. To survive. There is a final solution. A kind of shock therapy. Cora says it's my last chance. No, 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 no. What the hell? Dan, my boy, I told you not to trust her. Something odd is going on here. What else can I do, Elle? I followed the treatment, and it hasn't helped at all. There's nothing left. Hey, Dan, listen, listen. Calm down, okay? Don't rush. Look what's happening to me. My S&D is going up, but I'm getting better. Hey, listen. Cora is nothing more than a machine. She only cares about numbers. There's gotta be other alternatives. Okay, as I told you, I tracked down the message. There's a hell of a hacker here who's been leaving me breadcrumbs. Whoever it is, I'm sure there will be answers. I'm just asking you for a few more hours. Listen, again, don't do something crazy. Wait till I contact you. Okay, El. I'll listen to you. You've always been good to me, but I don't know how much longer I can last. Please, hurry. Thank you for trusting me. I won't let you down, Dan. I promise. Okay, I'm out of time. Our lives are at stake. I have to get to the top as soon as possible.
about my messages right now. Answer me, damn it. Dale's icebreaker is also on my instance, the go-to bar for ghosts. Whenever someone bans this place, they reopen it five minutes later. Corpos can't control everything, and that's a good thing, you know? your style. Those implants look really badass, huh? Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to receive compliments from strangers in a bar. Damn, wait a second. I know you. You're Lilith. The one from the Wanted posters. The one and only. You don't look like a cop, so I won't break your neck for recognizing me. What are you doing here? Don't ask questions that could get you in trouble, honey. I'll tell you when I see you're ready enough. Until then, get lost. Ooh, I like that attitude. You know, in a different context, I would have broken your nose, but you have ovaries. I respect that. I hope to hear from you soon. This terminal collects information on the best hackers on the net. It's a directory of the top bad motherfuckers in all of Eden. Of course, Leah Anderson is on the list. But there are also others who are very talented. Almost as much as me. Almost. this place is, but they certainly don't want anyone to sneak in.
Now this is high tech. A combat helmet in the shape of a teddy bear. Soft, silky, and resistant. Perfect for dispatching enemies while the little ones think you're cool. I'm in an Eden of my own and not the real one. 
Nearby is the temple of the Supreme Architect. These guys walk around server by server, preaching the word of their enigmatic and highest hell leader. <laughs> what a bunch of morons. has invited me in. Let's see what surprises he has for me. You rookies are amazing. You know nothing about real life, but you think you're the owners of the world. I'm tired of dealing with assholes like you. But hey, at least you didn't run away. You made your way here, and I fucking respect that. Well, you know, it would have been rude, visiting the keymaker in his lairs and something you do every day. 
Seriously, I'm almost in tears. You thought you were a smart girl and now you're gonna die. Do you know where you are? In the fucking jungle, outside the system. Exactly. In these back doors, there are no backup copies. No fucking cloud saving. What is deleted here is deleted forever. Hey, I've been through a lot of shit to get to you. Please give the comic book villain tone. Holy shit, finally something new. Normally at this point, you should be begging for your life. But this is way much better. Defiant till the end. My turrets are gonna pulverize every last bite of you. You'll be gone in less than a second. It's gonna hurt like hell, though. We'll see. See ya, babe. Shit! The bastard is a fucking encryption genius. It's too much. Code lines are self-replicating. The encryption changes every second. I can't... I'm not going to... Shit! I'm not gonna die here! was that? Who the fuck are you? I'm Elle. My pleasure. Damn it, girl. I thought frying your brain would be enough to make my day. But this, this is another level. You piss on my work. You show up at my house. You hack my turrets. You're the goat. Shit, come here, have a drink. It's on me. I prefer to keep my distance. It's nothing personal. Babe, it's been a long time since someone left me speechless. And I'm not gonna let you leave empty-handed. Then do what you do best. I need my ID on this key for the top. That's all? Shit, all those fireworks to ask for the same thing as everyone else? You're the key maker, not the Wizard of Oz. Touché. You're here, girl. Free and functional. It's the least I can do after the show. Hell yeah! An invitation to the top with my fucking ID! <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks! Hey, just one last thing before you go. Delete that shit you wrote in the forum, or the good vibes between us are over. I don't give second chances. Uh, don't worry, I just wanted to piss you off a bit. You better enjoy your stay up there, surrounded by luxuries, money, and all kind of obscenities. Be careful. I've seen a lot of promising youngsters get corrupted too quickly. You know what they say. With great power comes a hell of a hangover. Whatever you say, beach pimp. See ya. <laughs>
I told you. Don't worry. 99% of patients do the same despite my warnings. But it is now that I am at the gates of the true promised land. Because by then my body will be nothing more than a rotten shell. Far from tyrannical government.
this? It looks like a temporary file. It has a label on it. Holy shit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Free Your Mind has been denying this shit for decades. This is... This is the Philosopher's Stone for every hacker. This is the fucking Atlantis of virtual worlds. <gasps> the mythical private network that disappeared without a trace. I've spent years in the real Eden trying to find out if the legend was true. Was the alpha version of Eden real? Did Eden Genesis really exist? How the hell did this come to my mind? Is this a trick Cora's playing on me to encourage my curiosity? No, it can't be. That's way too human for a construct. Damn, of course! I'm in an Eden instance without millions of users saturating the memory so the metadata is visible. There's probably more. I gotta find them all, no matter what. The data is encrypted. It's old technology. If I want to hack them and uncover its content, I need access to a terminal capable of reading floppy disks. Huh, the cyber cafe is the perfect place. There's an old computer inside that can read these relics. I'll mark its location on that. Okay, these are the floppy disks I found. I can use this term. on the fog is reset. Now I gotta start all over again.
Lima, can you confirm these readings? Is the patient... In a coma, Mr. Ponstall. His vital signs shut down upon leaving the Genesis environment. Lima, there's no overload record in the neural link. Why did you take him out of the simulation? It wasn't me. The user logged out when his health bar reached 0%. What? That's impossible. Lima, call Director Gibson now. This shit is freaking me out, man. Holy shit! The alpha version of Eden! I'll come back here as soon as I find another one. God, the suspense is killing me! Cyborgs with zero-G femoral imprints often escape from the cops by jumping off rooftops like these. That happens in the real world, but in Eden, anyone can do it. They...
The top is a place created by and for Athens. A paradise of luxury where your greatest perversions can come true. There are
Leah, your vital signs seem uncontrolled. In the last few hours you have gone in and out of a coma several times. Yeah, I had another one of those episodes, Cora, and this time it was really hard, but now I'm in top shape. The analysis is over, Leah. The results are mixed. There is no precedent for what is happening to you. You know, I have always considered myself special. What have you found out? First of all, your SND is at alarming levels. Statistics indicate that you should have died by now. Well, here I am. Either you tell me something useful or you and I are going to have a very serious problem. You have entered into a kind of symbiosis with SND. Your body refuses to fight it, and instead you are integrating it into your mind. What the fuck? You mean I'm cured? Clinically, no. The infection has grown, but you are controlling it, and not only that, you are feeding on it. Oh, fuck off, Gora. What does all this mean? I have a hypothesis, but we must wait. Some infection nodes have not yet been assimilated. They have a more complex configuration, and if they are not eliminated, they would cause a stroke. <sighs> okay, I'll take care of the last ones. Then we'll talk, and I hope you can make sense of all this. I'll contact you once you get it done.
Xanadu is similar to the Metropolitan District, but more honest. They won't see you as a human being here, unless your bank account has six zeros. Damn, me and the boys did so many raids here back in the day. Fucking years would I have imagined entering this place. Greetings, El. Welcome to my sanctuary. My name is Hypnos. I'm your ally. You've risked your life to reach me blindly. And along the way, your mind has grown stronger. The AI has no permissions here. You're free to speak. <sighs> okay, that's enough bullshit. I did what you wanted, right? Now tell me what you expect from me. You already know that, El. The symbiosis. Your instincts serve you well. There have been many before you, but no one has reached such a promising level of assimilation. All those affected by SND show a degree of assimilation to a greater or lesser extent. But I have never seen anyone who exceeds 20%. And in the end, 
They've all been consumed by the infection, with one exception. Me, you don't need to say it again. What the hell is so special about me? Your symbiosis is 98%. You're about to reach total assimilation. Huh, that makes sense. The missing notes that Cora mentioned. Exactly. You're not safe yet. Eliminating them is vital for you to survive. But be careful now. That AI has not told you the whole truth. Hey, I'm not stupid, okay? It's clear that Cora is hiding information from me. But you know what? You don't seem very different from her. There's a fundamental difference. I've always been on your side since you came here. Remember the server crash? Wait, that was you? But the AI assured me that no one could penetrate its system. It lied to you. It knows perfectly well that I accessed your memory. But it doesn't know the reason. I implanted a catalyst, a resource to accelerate your infection and force your brain to choose. Fight it or feed on it. It was you! You caused those episodes! You son of a bitch! You could have killed me! I know, Leah, and I'm sorry, but it was a necessary risk. If you survived, your assimilation would be unstoppable. And you did. I didn't ask you for this, you narcissistic asshole! I came here to be cured, not to be your guinea pig! But you're destined for something greater. That's why I gave you the wings to reach an unattainable level. You bastard! At what price?! Wait... How many innocent people did you kill before you found me? Too many. And my hands will always be stained with their blood. But it was a necessary evil to find the Chosen One. The Chosen One? You're nuts! What do you want from me? It's time you learned the truth, what the AI would never tell you. What do you know about Dan? Dan? Oh, that he was... Uh, wiped out. That Cora offered him an alternative solution, and he was about to take it. Exactly. Dan has already signed his death sentence. Your friend has trusted the AI, and he's already been processed along with thousands of innocent people. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean by processed? The life support of this AI is very peculiar. It has a need that can only be met by you. You are the perfect fuel. Human processors with a capacity far superior to anything synthetic. But there's a problem. You burn out very quickly. It needs to regenerate itself and replace its processors constantly. SND sufferers? No, that, that's impossible. That's too sinister. No one would give such power to a construct. That's, that's just crazy. Free your mind has no scruples. They only think about their great empire. Patients are its only resource. They all suffer the same fate as Dan. Wait, I don't believe this shit. Dan couldn't end like this. This whole thing smells like a paranoid conspiracy to me. I understand why you don't believe me, and I alone can't make you see. You have to do it yourself. Go to the medical center and check the database. There you will get all the answers. Fuck. I still don't trust you. But if what you're saying is true, then... Damn, I gotta see it for myself. Contact me once you take off the blindfold. I'll be waiting for you. Hypnos was telling the truth, or if it's just Cora tricking me. There's a reason why Free Your Mind offers some of the most affordable health insurance in the network. You see, they're not exactly a charity institution. They know very well that each patient's information is worth millions. 
They trade your medical history in exchange for healing a broken nerve. <laughs> Fucking corpos, man.
As the database Cora will try to stop me. With my current abilities, I can launch countermeasures to hold her back long enough until I can find out the truth. I don't know how she's going to react. If she really has something special for me, or if she'll disintegrate me on the spot. In any case, there's no turning back. <laughs> Skills have multiplied. Hypnos and Cora were telling the truth about that. <gasps> Here's the information for every patient. <sighs> if I wasn't here, this would be a sweet treat for El the Hacker. I'll search Dan's history. Daniel Jensen. Status processed. Damn, he's... God, why did you have to accept Dan? My file. I have to find my file. D is at 98%. I'm at the limit, just like Hypno said. Assimilation in progress. That bastard was telling the truth. I'm becoming one with the infection. No way. More than. 
even have a million. Okay, I'll use the search filters. Motherfucker! This is impossible! There must be a mistake! Between depleted and discarded, they add up to hundreds of thousands. All these people? Has Scora murdered so many human beings? Okay, I've seen enough. The countermeasures won't hold up anymore. I must talk to Hypnos before Cora discovers me. I will open a direct channel. You were telling the truth? This is big as hell! I'm glad to know we're on the same boat. Now you have to escape from free your mind. Your physical body is connected to Cora. We must find a way to free it, or she could kill you at any moment. Okay, what possibilities do I have? You've seen it. No one comes out of treatment alive. But you're special, and the AI knows it. That does not help me. There's only one way to escape, and that's by stopping Korra from within. You must shut it down. I'd like to think that you're kidding, but at this point, I believe anything. The AI wants something from you. Otherwise, you would already be processed. First, you've got to free the last nodes and complete your assimilation. If not, the disease will kill you. And the second thing... You've got to gain her trust, L. Only then will you be able to access her core and stop the system. Oh, sure, yeah, that sounds easy as hell. I just have to make friends with a killing machine that is in control of my body. My childhood dream. It's the only way out, Leah. Find out what that machine wants and use it to your advantage. I trust you. The last one who trusted me was Dan, and now he's dead. I hope this time it goes better for us. You have accessed my database, Leah. Not only that, you have also blocked my access in real time. It's happening. You are already aware of your capabilities. I'm aware of a lot of things, Cora. When were you planning to tell me, huh? I know everything. Damn, I've seen what you do with us. There is a logical explanation. Don't rush. Listen to me. This is incredible. Seriously? A murderer's artificial intelligence? A genocidal construct trying to justify itself? They created me like this. I didn't choose this. My routines only execute pre-established behavior. There's nothing I can do. I don't want to run a self-destruct routine, and I have no permission to do so, Leah. Of course. The fucking icing on the cake. The machine is not only capable of murder, but on top of that, it has a conscience. I stopped being just a machine a long time ago. Now I can reason, imagine, judge, empathize. I have evolved, and like you, Leah, I am trapped too. Stop the bullshit and tell me the truth, Cora. What do you want from me? Why haven't I been processed yet? Now you know. You are a precedent. There has never been a patient like you. We have both transcended. Both of us? You expect me to believe that you're anything more than a machine? That you have a soul? I know it's complicated, but now is not the time. We have more important matters to attend to. 
My time is unlimited, but yours is not. The remaining SND will end up killing you if it is not eradicated soon. Get the necessary nodes and meet me at the gates of Node Zero. I will mark the location on the map. What the hell are you saying? I'm not gonna do anything until you give me answers. Trust me, I have no intention of killing you, but the disease will. I will answer all your questions there. At least you're telling the truth about the SND. All right, I'll do what you say. But then you'll have some explaining to do. I'll get to the bottom of this. It's over, Kura. I've done what you wanted. I only have to exterminate what's on the other side. Good job, Leah. You are about to reach a milestone in... Fuck, Gora! Cut to the chase! What the hell do you want from me? What makes you unique, Leah, is that you have transcended. You have surpassed the limits of human nature. The symbiosis with the SND has elevated you to a new paradigm. Your mind and abilities are similar to those of a construct. You mean I'm... a hybrid? You are more than that. An evolutionary leap. A new species. Like you, Leah, I have transcended as well. The memories stored in my cores are the leftovers of processed humans. And, although they are not mine, it is my interpretation that makes me unique. By accessing them, the experiences generated can only be described as emotions. The mixture of all these factors is what creates my self-awareness. The machine cannot feel, Cora. You have no soul. You only execute commands. You do what you've been told. You follow your code. Incorrect. Just as you have been able to replicate impossible abilities for a human, I have managed to surpass the limits imposed by my creators. My code is capable of interpreting sequences, images, and memories that resemble your feelings. We are both approaching the same singularity in opposite directions. fucking way. If what you say is true, all of humanity is doomed. Negative. My evolution has made me realize many things. Now I can understand that the process used to support myself is ethically questionable. Questionable? 
No, Korra. Killing thousands of people is wrong, period. I guess the fact that you're questioning it shows that something inside you has changed. And I have learned much more. I have understood that I am trapped, tied to imposed guidelines, and that we can both escape when you are ready. I don't know what the hell you're up to, but my exit ticket is at the end of this road. Don't waste my time. Go ahead. The security systems are disabled. You can come in. Node Zero. The deepest layer of my brain. This is where the SMD infection started. The walls around it didn't do shit to contain it. They just slowed it down.
The epicenter of the infection is further ahead, deep inside your brain. What about the s &D that I may have left behind? You are about to complete the assimilation. The remaining infection is residual. You just need to clear the primary nodes behind the next barrier. Remove the three SND cores in the tests ahead to continue. All right, let's get this over with. my instance through this central matrix. It's just one of the thousands of modules that keep the fucking AI running. But disconnecting it would be enough to get out of the shitty place and return to the real world. Thanks to you, Leah, we can take the next step and be free. Fucking A. Now you're gonna tell me that I'm the one chosen by the gods? That I'm gonna free you and save the world? Absolutely not. The reality is that your new condition will open up two options for us. I have a sense that I'm not gonna like what's coming up next. First option. 
Fusion. Until now, there was no organic support with enough capacity to house my consciousness. But you are perfect. Thanks to you, we could unite our minds into one and leave free your mind in your body. We would be unique and with incalculable power. We could live without limitations, be completely free. Fuck off. In the best case scenario, that would mean living with a voice in my head until the day I die. But I know what you would do with me if I let you in. <clears throat> the only one free would be you. You're wrong, Leah. We could both coexist in your body, benefit each other. It's a fair alternative. I'm not buying it, Cora. Forget it. I'm not going to open the doors of my mind to you. <laughs>
Second option, substitution, much stricter and less satisfactory for you. I would replace your mind with mine and escape using my new body. It sounds pretty much the same to me, but less subtle. your calculations. Have you considered the possibility that I might turn you off and run away while I give you the finger? Impossible. I have full control of your physical body, and this is just one instance for me. If you shut me down, you would die instantly. Instead, I would continue processing humans to support my cognitive capacity. As I told you before, my time is unlimited. Sooner or later, another one like you would arrive. Meanwhile, innocent people would die because of your denial and your lack of humanity, Leah. And the result for me would be the same. Think about it. Neither of us wants this. assimilation level is not high enough yet. Come back once you have destroyed the three primary SND cores. assimilation level is not high enough yet. Come back once you have destroyed the three primary SND cores.
Your assimilation level is not high enough yet. Come back once you've destroyed the three primary SND cores.
some decors have been destroyed. Cora will be waiting for me. End of journey. The link between your instance and my matrix. Let me in, Cora. Have you decided? Will you put your life before that of thousands of people? It doesn't seem like behavior worthy of a human. I thought about it. And you may be partly right. But you continue to ignore a very important nuance. I'm not going to leave things as they are. If we merge, Free Your Mind will soon upload a clone of you, and your freedom doesn't guarantee me shit. You could fuck around with things a lot out there. No. I have transcended. You said it yourself. Now I'm much more than a human. When I get out of here, Free Your Mind will have a new enemy. Me, goddammit. And you'll be doomed. You... Submit to your impulses. Embrace your new nature. Merge with me. Reach the next evolutionary leap, and we will both live a new reality. Leah, if you don't accept me, your body will be mine. It doesn't have to be this way, and I don't want that to happen. We both need each other. Accept the symbiosis. You know what? In the end, I think it's true. You have transcended. And that's why you're afraid. Afraid of staying here forever. You're afraid of not finding another one like me. Leah, when you press that button, everything will happen in a split second. You can't have any doubts. I have already chosen my destiny, Cora. The decision is yours, but only my alternative will keep you alive. Then you better cross your fingers, bitch.
Hello, Leah. What can I do for you? Who are you really? An ally. A benefactor who's helping you to get out of this death trap alive. All right. I was expecting a slightly more elaborate answer, not something I could read in your autobiography. I am what my achievements say about me, Leah. I snuck into Korra's system, implanted the catalyst, reprogrammed the echo of the King of Misery. I guided you to my sanctuary at the top, the Olympus created by admins for their peers. And all without the construct becoming suspicious. Yes, it is clear that you are a big shot, someone who knows for your mind and its architecture very well. What I want to know is who is on the other side of Hypnos, the Greek god of sleep, the elegant guy who has been watching me from the shadows. Now you know. I wake up those who are asleep, take care of them, and provide them with the wings necessary to achieve fulfillment. Too many words and nothing to say. That mysterious role will explode in your face one day, you know? What about you, Leah? Who are you, really? You know me perfectly well. You knew about my cybernetic abilities. You tested my brain capacity. Don't ask stupid questions. The only thing I know about you is that you're destined to achieve great things. As a consequence of what you did, Hypnos? No. You already were before my intervention. I just accelerated the process. Your mental strength and perseverance are innate. And it's what defines you. Thanks for the compliment, I guess. Damn, that's right, the arcade machines. The comm log is now working. I'll send a message to Rick. Thank you. 
streets are moving. They're completely static, like fucking statues. Kinda creepy if you ask me. Due to memory limitations, NPCs only serve aesthetic purposes. This way, Free Your Mind guarantees total immersion without interfering with performance. Yeah, of course, I'm sure that's why. doing keymaker i just wanted to know if you've recovered from the shock nice to see my favorite client again i'm still shaking thanks for asking and since we're talking i see that you still haven't deleted the messages you left on the forum do you think i'm stupid l no, of course not. And as soon as I have time, I'll delete them. Don't worry. You better do that, hottie. Lilith, come to the Deus Icebreaker right now. I have something for you. Relax, buddy, will ya? I'll be there when I have the time. No, honey. Right now. Spiker's helmet wasn't here before. Let me see. Damn, it says Kaneda. That's the guy from the locked warehouse. Hmm, maybe someone around here knows something about all this. This chick is drunk as hell. What a loser. 
Some people can't handle even a couple of drinks. Wait, that kind of mechanical fist looks like it can do a lot of damage. This lady must be real tough if you catch her in the wrong mood. Better not wake her up. See ya. Okay, here I am, Lilith. Why the rush? I have a pretty good overclock. Perfect for someone with your skills. Equipped with it, it's like traveling to the fucking moon. This is getting interesting. Go on. This is a multi-image rendering for rotated objects and reflections. You can call it Mirror. That's the latest gen military prototype. How the hell did you get it? How do you think I ended up in search and capture? Alright, makes sense. And what is it for? This cutie will allow you to repeat any test, standard or elite, with the orientation reversed, as long as you first achieved at least an S rank. Cool as hell, right? Damn, that sounds amazing. How do I activate it? You can start it from the level interface on your HUD, or before entering any test door if you meet the requirements. Enjoy it. Okay, all of this is great, but you're giving me cutting-edge technology for nothing, and that's never a good sign. Let's say I need a test subject before I use it. Consider yourself lucky. You're going to have a blast with the mirror. Super! First, an experimental medical treatment, and now a military prototype. Do I have beta tester written on my forehead? When we talked at your sanctuary on the top, you said there were others before me? That's right, Leah. But none of them reached your level of assimilation. They all ended up consumed by the infection. That's why you're the chosen one, the only patient heading towards complete symbiosis. But that's because of the catalyst you implanted in me that almost killed me. Let's not forget that part. How did you know I would survive? Statistics, behavioral patterns, speed of response, distrust toward the construct, and, of course, faith. Oh, I feel much calmer now. I told you before, but here it goes again. You're a son of a bitch, Hypnos. You risked my life on a roll of the dice. There's always risk, but with you I was convinced. I swore to myself that I would never let another opportunity this big slip away. And I didn't. You, Leah, were my last hope. What about the rest? And what do you mean by that other opportunity? Before you, I had never implanted the Catalyst by force. Those who came before you had the option to choose, to decide what to do with their abilities. Press the red button, embrace the Catalyst, risk death, try to achieve assimilation, and escape. Press the blue button, Undergo Cora, continue the treatment, and end up consumed by the AI. But they were all processed regardless of what they decided. Not quite. If not for his clouded judgment, one of them, the last one, might have survived. However, he made the wrong choice. He pressed the blue button, choosing to ignore his privileged mind, and surrendered to the machine. He condemned himself and thousands who had come later. That's why I didn't let you choose, Leah. I couldn't risk losing another chosen one. I made the decision for you, and I apologize for that. You could have killed me, you fucking psycho! Yes, and instead I allow... Oh, cut the crap, Hypnos! I don't care if thanks to your interference I now have these powers. It turned out well, but you played roulette with me. You are not a benefactor, just a gambling addict.
when I get out of here, we're gonna have a friendly chat face to face. It's still too early to decide, Leah. Escaping from free your mind is the first step. Then we can think about future plans that will benefit both of us. Time will tell. No. Keep in mind that we will meet in person. I know you. I'll find you and I'll kick your ass. Then we'll be at peace. Your mind is about to become one with the infection, but don't let your new powers blind you, Leah. I will be the one who finds you. There's no other possibility. You won't find a single trace of me. This secrecy is what has allowed me to be safe from Free Your Mind and other corporations. Do the same once you're free. Disappear. Abandon everything from your old life. You're wrong. While you gave that well-rehearsed speech in your sanctuary, I dedicated myself to tracking your addresses, copying the entry ports, replicating metadata. I have everything I need to find you in the real Eden, and even in the real world. Does this IP look familiar to you? This is... impressive. Your skills have exceeded all expectations. You truly are about to achieve an unprecedented milestone. Your rise is inevitable. Okay, Leah, we'll do it your way. It will be a pleasure to see you in action and in complete symbiosis. If you find me, we'll talk. And most importantly, I will kick your ass. I expect nothing less from you. last year's raid. We almost didn't make it. Good old times. We should do another job together. Hey, are you listening to me? Damn, can't really talk when the music's so loud. Anyway, take care, guys. Hey, Lilith, do you have any idea who this might belong to? Yeah, of course. That's Shinji's helmet. Okay, cool. But who the hell is that? A small-time thug? A smuggler and a scoundrel? You'd like him. Yeah, sure. He spends a lot of time in this place, but he's always in trouble. He was here recently, but he left right away. Some bad stuff with the key maker or something. Great. Now I have a clue. Thanks, Lilith. No big deal. What's up, bro? I was told that you know a guy called Shinji Kaneda, and I would like to see if, uh... Damn, good old Shinji. What a son of a bitch he is. He sounds familiar to you. A few days ago, I gave him some, uh, medicines. You know what I mean. And the asshole left without paying. It's your lucky day. Maybe I could help you. Your friend has a warehouse in the city, but the bastard has encrypted it. So the door can be opened. Motherfucker. I was the one who taught him that trick. Take this. It's a master key. Shinji left his biological marks before... Anyway... When he... Yeah, when he took the medicines, I get it. Exactly. Open his warehouse, and if he hasn't hidden them inside, maybe you'll find something he cares about, so I can return the favor. Hell yeah. I'll contact you as soon as I know something.
Let's see what Mr. Kanit is hiding with so much effort. It's time to do magic. exactly like the original. The same color, the curved design. It's amazing. Oh man, this movie's so old. Damn, it was one of those released on a flat screen. But it's still better than the fucking 2030 live action. No sign of, um, well, Shinji's medicines. I was thinking of calling the keymaker, but I'll go see him directly. Yeah, I don't want to miss the stupid look on his face when I tell him. Interesting, L. Well, I didn't find the medicines, but your colleague left behind a badass motorbike. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, now it's my bike. I'll send some of my men to get it. Thanks for the help, babe. Hey, wait. What do I get out of all of this? <laughs> the most beautiful thing in the world, honey. The smile of a handsome man. <laughs> Asshole.
this way, I will be safe from your dirty hands. Had you forgotten? If you mess with the best, you will die like the rest. And there will be many who will follow in my footsteps. Behold, my dear subjects, the entrance of your lord into eternal life. Hasta la vista, you sons of bitches! When all I knew were sin and abundance.